Right now, with Wisconsin legislative maps in flux, the consultants hired by the courts to evaluate the new proposal release their findings. Plus, today was the annual Norse afternoon of fun at Stoughton High with Norwegian dance on display. Also tonight, a Janesville business is behind some of the hair clips worn at the Grammy Awards, which just wrapped up. Catherine Merck visited the shop. That's all coming up at 1030. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jalen Banks. The Janesville family and minority owned business behind men's hair pieces snag the spot in the gift bags at tonight's Grammy Awards. The young men behind the online distributor say they are pioneering a masculine look for hair accessories. Our Catherine Merck shows us how unlike the products they sell, nothing is holding the operation back. You might expect the swag bag at the Grammys to have items in it that are from big major brands like Louis Vuitton, Gucci and others. But this year, the stars are also getting something from a Wisconsin basement. This is where we pack everything. In this Janesville home. None of us have ever yeah. done e-commerce before. Two brothers and their cousin have worked hand in hand to create a small business, not knowing it would become a hit. It's been a lot of winging it and learning <laughs> while doing stuff. <laughs> the idea came after a family trip to Greece. It was very windy there, so. He has long hair, is blowing all over the place. When searching for a solution to their problems, we realized that there wasn't really like the a men's hair accessories market out there. The Hair Forge was created. We want something that was stylish as well as functional. I have these rings in right now. It's low key, it's nothing too flashy, but it's something there. I just really like them. The business was looking for ways to get products some exposure after operating for only eight months. They applied to be included in the Grammy Awards swag bags. And as easy as the products fit into their hair. Where you're basically going to weave it through and pop it in just like that. Their vision, too, snapped into place. But I thought it was a scam at first because I was like... We got into like the Grammys, are you sure? Yeah. I pictured Drake wearing, or looking at yeah, some of our products. Yeah. Uh, Jared Leto from the Five yeah. Seconds to Mars. I mean, he's got like the long hair for sure. I feel like he'd wear something like that. I was thinking of like Harry Styles, but then I remembered like he went bald recently. <laughs> <laughs> the boys hope the business strikes a chord with others after the award show. And we got our first sale too from New Mexico the other day and it was just crazy seeing like we started out here, you know, we got some Midwest sales and then boom, randomly from a different state that's not near the Midwest. It's just very cool to see. These young men feel like they also won on Grammy night. Even if they just say like a Instagram post about it, just hey, this is a cool product. I love it. That'd be awesome. They know that their products are in the hands of the stars. Yeah, we are a small business out of the Midwest, and they might kind of have an appreciation for that. So that's something that's pretty cool. The Hair Forge is selling the exact bag the stars are getting on their website right now. You can find it on channel3000.com. Reporting in Janesville, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. That's pretty awesome. Now, let's get a look at our first one forecast, Alex. It's been pretty warm as of late. How's it feeling out there? It's still feeling pretty warm out here at the patio. Relatively speaking, our temperatures are still warmer than our normal high temperatures for this time of year. Let's take a look, though, at some other things that we got to keep an eye on tonight, and that's the potential for freezing fog. My litmus test for that is just to look at the Capitol Sky Cam, our Edgewater Sky Cam. If we start to see that getting shrouded with clouds, that's an indicator that that fog is developing. Looks good right now. Visibility at 10 miles, but you just have to go over to Lake Michigan and you, and you see a drastic reduction in visibilities down to a quarter of a mile as you head towards Milwaukee, and you're probably, well, that's over by, by Milwaukee. It's that dense fog, that freezing fog that will be inching from the east to the west overnight tonight. That can mean some low visibilities, some ice scraping in the morning on your cars. Keep the low beams on. We're going to track that coming up in Maine weather, just how far west that bank of freezing fog may get. Temperatures 26 in Madison, still hanging on to 27 to the west in southwestern Wisconsin, 30 in Janesville. And again, these are our normal high temperatures for this time of year. We should be colder than this at nighttime. And as we look at here in Dane County, 27 in Middleton, 27 in McFarland, 28 to the south in Stoughton, and 30 in Edgerton. Our planning your day or the rest of the evening looks pretty much spot on. 28 at midnight, that fog right around 7 o'clock in the morning. Then as that burns off, a little cooler I'm going for tomorrow at 40. It might take a little longer for that fog to burn off. So coming up in Maine weather, we're going to track that bank of fog and how 
far west that impactful bank of fog could be, how warm we're still expecting this upcoming work week to get, and how much rain, not snow, how much rain you can expect this week too. All right, Alex, we'll see you then. The Wisconsin Supreme Court now has the results of a report by two consultants hired by the court to evaluate six proposed legislative maps for the upcoming election this year. And what did those consultants find? Well, Braden Ross has all the details. In a little over a month, the Wisconsin Supreme Court will decide which legislative maps will determine which state races you end up voting in this fall. And there are quite a few options. But before they make their decision, they ask for some expert input. Here's what those experts told them. All the plans meet the requirements. You have to choose one. Following a landmark ruling throwing out Wisconsin's current legislative maps, the Supreme Court is on a tight schedule to institute new ones before this fall's election. And they're getting some help from some outside consultants to do it. The court hired them to help them make sense of the plans that were submitted and how well the various plans complied with the criteria that the court put forward. The consultants looked at all six options presented to the court last month, four submitted by liberal groups and two submitted by conservative ones. They evaluated them on things like contiguity and population equality, but the court also asked that they look at how they shake out based on party. Measuring how likely it was that the plans would give majority control of the legislature to the party that received the most votes. The consultants found all six maps were likely to lead to a Republican majority, although they differ in how strong that majority would turn out to be. They found the maps submitted by the two conservative groups would leave Republicans with a significant legislative majority. The other four, they said, were virtually the same and would make the party split in the legislature much closer. So now what? The court will have to make a decision on which map they're going to choose. The court could choose to go with any of those six options, but there are also a few other possible paths to new maps. The court could ask those consultants to drop their own maps or modify any of the existing ones. And if the state legislature manages to pass their own plan and get Governor Evers to sign it, then those maps would stand. Reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. The Wisconsin Elections Commission said the new maps have to be submitted by March 15th in order to be ready for the August primary. In a state of the state address, Governor Tony Evers announced a task force to study the health care workforce shortage in the state. Leading the efforts to reverse this trend is Lieutenant Governor and former registered nurse Sarah Rodriguez. She joined our political reporter Will Keneally on this week's edition of For the Record to explain the task force's approach. So that is one of the areas that we're going to be working on is to talk to the governor and give recommendations and say this is what we would like you to put in your budget for this next cycle. Uh, but there could also be administrative changes that we can work with the different secretaries on. The secretary for DHS, the Health uh, Department of Health Services, is going to be on the task force as well as the Department of Workforce Development. According to a report by the Wisconsin Hospital Association, the overall hospital vacancy rate nearly doubled to 9.9% from September 2020 to September 2021. This weekend marked the 35th anniversary of the Madison Orchid Growers Guild hosting its Orchid Quest. It was held at Albrecht Gardens, and although it was in the middle of winter, the turnout did not disappoint. There were growing seminars, a raffle, silent auction, and plenty of advice for newer and more experienced orchid growers. This is part of the educational to the public. And so by in this room, they can take pictures and question about the orchids. We have a knowledgeable people walking around that they can ask things about, um, but also educational. We, we'd like to share our, de our desire of, uh, of orchids. Ulbricht's Orchid Escape feature is also on display inside the Bowles Conservatory every day until March 3rd. For info on future events held by the Orchid Growers can be found at orchidgrowersguild.org. Also today, the internationally known Stoughton Norwegian dancers presented their yearly Norse afternoon of fun performance. It happened in the Stoughton High School Gymnasium. The dancers, who were also students at the school, dressed in colorful Norwegian outfits and put on humorous and acrobatic performances. Audience members were even able to join in at times. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited. This is our biggest performance of the year. There'll be lots of people, it'll be super loud, and it's going to have some, some great energy. The event raises money for the group to travel for its spring break performances. And coming up next at 10, the U.S. continues its airstrikes on Iranian-backed militia groups. The details after the break. Hy-Vee hot deals are burning hot. 
fresh ground beef. Just $2.68 for a one pound roll. Buy two, get two free on select Pepsi products. And avocados, two for just a dollar. Only at High Bee. Enjoy Buck and Honey's before, during, or after the big game. Buck and Honey's restaurants voted best of Madison and celebrating Wisconsin hospitality in Sun Prairie, Monona, Wanakee, and new in Mount Horeb. Everyone deserves a fulfilling job. But for people with disabilities, the barriers can be overwhelming. It's time to open the door to new possibilities. People with disabilities are getting the education, skills, and training needed to thrive in a wide variety of industries. And they're ready for an opportunity, a job, a career. Thinkability Wisconsin. All you have to do is start with yes. Join the movement at thinkabilitywi.org. Imagine trying to take on one of the big car companies. It's not easy. Yet this year, one local law firm finalized the largest compensatory verdict in state history against an automaker, over $38 million. And it was no fluke. That same firm has been holding big car companies accountable for faulty designs that cause injury for over 50 years. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. If you haven't been to the Legend of Bergamot in the last five years, you will be stunned. It's the fastest growing club and community anywhere in this state. It's a spectacular lifestyle. Have you stood on our balcony at sunset? The view of miles of countryside over a perfect golf course with the sun setting just over your left shoulder. That's pretty good. Come become a member. If you just want to do it a little bit, come be our guest. Hy-Vee hot deals are burning hot. Fresh ground beef, just $2.68 for a one pound roll. Buy two, get two free on select Pepsi products. And avocados, two for just a dollar. Only at Hy-Vee. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, it's Run's house. That's right, stand up! Because Rev Run is about to receive my highest honor. This is the Jennifer Hudson Legend Award. You are so legendary. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. U.S. airstrikes continue to target Iranian-backed militia groups in the region as retaliation for a drone strike that killed three U.S. service members at a military base in Jordan. As CBS's Christian Benavides reports, the Houthis in Yemen are now vowing to strike back against the U.S. The U.S. says there are no plans to scale back its response against Iranian-backed militia groups after carrying out a series of airstrikes along with the U.K. over the weekend, targeting the Houthis in Yemen. This followed other airstrikes in Iraq and Syria. What happened on Friday was the beginning, not the end of our response. But the U.S. is walking a fine line, careful to avoid hitting any targets inside Iranian territory. We don't want to go to war with Iran. That, by the way, is an objective that Iran shares. They don't want to go to war with us. The airstrike's working! Yeah. The escalation comes amid Republican criticism that the Biden administration waited too long to respond to the initial drone strike on a U.S. base in Jordan that killed three American soldiers. You want to do this in a deliberate way, you want to do it, uh, you want to carefully select your targets, you want to make sure that, uh, that all the parameters are in place to have good, good effect. If they keep saying that they want to. Um, you know, uh, retaliate, but then they say it's about deterrence. Then they say it's about diminishing capabilities. Those are all different goals and objectives, and they're not doing any of those. This comes as Secretary of State Antony Blinken is traveling to the region for a series of diplomatic meetings. Blinken has planned stops in Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Egypt, Israel, and the West Bank. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. Today, President Joe Biden sent a letter to notify Congress that under a 2001 War Powers Resolution, he is able to order the airstrikes unilaterally. This came amid criticism by some, saying he should seek congressional approval. 
And back here in the states, California is on the receiving end of some severe weather, most notably heavy rain and high winds. The winds are what has hit the Sacramento area so far, and it has drowned out this local reporter who is trying to describe the aftermath of the conditions. Take a listen. We're seeing a lot of rain, including overnight. Well, the storm isn't over yet. We are expecting to see more rain through this evening. Already seeing significant impacts across our region, including down trees, power lines, and of course, power outages. Sacramento could expect heavy downpours and strong winds with a flood watch in effect for the metro area. And now, let's get a look at your first one forecast. Hopefully, we don't see any winds like that here anytime soon. No, nothing like that. In fact, that's actually a great segue from what's going on in California to what we have in our forecast. Some patchy fog, freezing fog, but then record warmth, and then we're tracking showers. When we have this El Nino-like weather pattern, the southern part of the United States, California, they get hammered with weather systems just like you saw, and then we get this benign weather pattern. We had that cold stretch for a little bit in January and got some snow, but back to this El Nino-like weather pattern is where we are right now. And with that El Nino-like weather, fog. We've had that quite a few nights here. Folks, as we go on into the early morning hours, I'll track the fog here in just a moment, but be on the lookout for low visibility. You might need the scraper out there too tomorrow morning if your car's sitting outside and low beams if you happen to get in, excuse me, to one of those foggy spots. Where is the fog right now? It's out towards Lake Michigan. You might be wondering, well, won't it just stay out over there? Well, this fog is actually gonna move from east to west as we carry on through the evening tonight. Let's track it here. Future track visibility model has recently updated some good news. It's not getting that fog quite as far west as what we were looking at during our 5:30 show. But still, look at this as we get towards 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. That stretches from I-90, I-94, and points off towards the east. So if you have travel to the east, you might be impacted more by this dense fog bank. It tries to get to Madison. Then the sun overtakes that. It breaks the fog apart, and the sun comes out, and then we have a nice day. So we'll be keeping an eye on that fog bank. De definitely tune in tomorrow morning with Kelly to see where that fog bank will end up. Again, expecting possibly a little bit of that patchy fog right around 7 o'clock. It burns off, and we'll go for a high around 40. Mid to upper 20s for lows tonight. That's our normal high temperatures for this time of year. A little cooler from Madison to the east because of the morning clouds with that fog. A little bit warmer to the west could be approaching 50 over portions of the Mississippi River. That high temperature trend still going to spike at 54 on Thursday. Normal is way down here, even way out in the 10 day forecast. Our temperatures are going to be above normal. First to track here that weather system as we go into that Thursday time frame. All in the form of rain here as we head towards Thursday evening. That's the peak of the rain shower activity across all of southern Wisconsin. It's 11 o'clock at night and look at what our future track model is predicting. 50 degree temperatures from west to east at 11 o'clock at night on your Thursday. Even as we go into Friday behind that weather system, it's staying mild. Not a lot of rain with it, maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch across most of the area. As we see the temperature staying wa a very warm, even as we go into next weekend, this weather system Sunday, Monday here that I've been watching the past couple of days might dip to the south, but we'll keep an eye on that one. That could be a little bit more on the wintry side with some wet snow. Thanks, Rob, for sending us this Robin picture. I find this profound here in New Glarus. I know it's early February. It's not out of the question to have a Robin or two sneak this far to the north this time of year, especially when we have our temperatures this warm. But I just wanna do a call out if you're a birder, I'm a birder. These, this is the time, you know, when you got Robins, Jalen coming this far north. If they stick around here and then we get a cold snap later in February or March, that could be really detrimental to the Robins. So they like their sunflower hearts, their raisins, their mealworms. So think about our feathered friends too, because they are impacted negatively, just like many folks in southern Wisconsin are impacted negatively for sure with this really warm weather we're having. Just real quick, can you define to me what a birder is? Birder, I will call myself an acclaimed birder. It's somebody who likes to track songbirds. I right. got plenty of bird feeders outside. Well, sounds good. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. Well, why are some people more sensitive to pain than others? And how can substance abuse by pregnant women impact children for years? Natalie Brand has this week's top health stories. 
Substances a pregnant woman ingests can affect the mental health of children even 10 to 12 years later. Research published in the health journal PNAS Nexus found that while caffeine, alcohol, tobacco, and marijuana all have links to mental health issues, alcohol use by pregnant women in particular showed a strong connection to future sleep problems and mental health issues for children ages 10 to 12. High schoolers who reported using alcohol, marijuana, or nicotine are at higher risk for mental health disorders. Researchers surveyed more than 15,000 students in Massachusetts and found those who reported using had an increase in depression, anxiety, ADH symptoms, and thoughts of suicide. The increase in symptoms were true even among young people with relatively low levels of use. And your age and gender can impact how sensitive you are to pain. A study from Ohio State University finds the part of the brain which inhibits pain changes as we grow older. This leads to older women becoming more sensitive to pain than older men. But the study authors caution that everyone experiences pain differently. Those are some of the week's top health stories. Natalie Brand, CBS News. Coming up in sports, Wisconsin hosts a Purdue in a showdown between two of the country's best teams. See if the Badgers could pull out the victory next on News 3 Now. Today's one of those days that Badger fans had circled on their calendars all year long. Sixth ranked Wisconsin hosting number two Purdue at the Kohl Center. The sellout crowd lived up to the hype. Wisconsin headed into half trailing by just two, but the Boilermakers went on a run. AJ Store trying to stop that, and he goes right at 7 4 Zach Eady. Count it and one. Store cuts the lead down to seven. Purdue on top, 50 to 43. And in a game like this, who do you call on? Fifth year senior Tyler Wall. He was masterful today. Wall had a team best 20 points, makes it 59 55 Purdue. And then Wall still trying to will his team to a victory, misses the three, but gets the board over Zach Eady and finishes the layup. The roof was about to explode out of that place. We got a two point game, five minutes to go. But then with a minute left, Badgers down five, a season off on the three. Wall trying to corral it and turns it over. Lance Jones turns that into points, and that would be all the battle that the Badgers had in them today. The Boilermakers escape the Kohl Center with a 75-69 win, handing Wisconsin their second straight loss after climbing to six in the AP poll. But Greg Gard says that's what competition is all about. Competition at its highest level is very rewarding. It can be very painful, um, as today is, but it's rewarding. And now, you know, we got to get better before we get to mid-March and see them again. We played one of the best teams in the country today, and we had so many things that we pick up um, on, and we can get so much better at. So we knock out one, two, three of those things, and I, I see no reason why we can't be one of the best teams in the country. So and the Wisconsin women were in action as well. They could not get the job done down in Illinois. Northwestern wins it 69-43. Sarah Williams puts up 11-11, but the Badgers shoots 26% from the field, spelling the defeat. The Bucks were in Dallas last night in Salt Lake City tonight. A quick turnaround against the Jazz. Bucks up 10 as the third quarter winds down. Dane Lillard known for that deep ball, but he goes right up the rack and stuffs the jam. Milwaukee would take a 95-83 lead into the fourth, but then everything fell apart. The Bucks were outscored 40 to 13 in the fourth quarter as Lowry Mark Cannon fires the three. The Jazz stun the Bucks late. Milwaukee loses 123 to 108. Capping off a stretch of four top 10 games at UW this weekend, the Wisconsin women's hockey team would look for a sweep over St. Cloud State today. The Badger women were able to get a win in OT yesterday. They trail 1-0 heading into the second period, but Layla Edwards shots no good. How about Kelly Gorbatanko? How good has this freshman been this year cleaning up the... The missed shot there, the Badgers tie it at one. And then in the second period, Wisconsin on a power play. Caroline Harvey, she was the hero yesterday, the hero again today. CC scores the goal. The Badgers take the lead, and they would go on to win it 5-2. to two. Got a lot of different things going on in sports today, but I'm going to throw it back to 18 years ago today, February 4th, 2006. Okay. Beloit College's Josh Hins scores 50 points Corral's 36 rebounds, which at the time tied the NCAA all-time single-game rebound record. Okay. 36. You might be wondering, where is Josh Hens now? 
he's the head coach for Beloit College. So okay. everything stays in there. How about there that? That's Shout awesome. out to you, Josh. Well, sounds good. Thank you, Andrew. We'll be back with more after this. Sometimes the do-it-yourself route isn't the best option. Call Monona Plumbing instead and get your plumbing problem fixed right. A name you can trust when service is a must. Have you heard? Tempur-Pedic sleep is better sleep. With innovative memory foam developed by NASA, Tempur-Pedic mattresses reduce motion transfer. Which means less tossing and turning so you can sleep undisturbed through the night. But which Tempur-Pedic is right for you? Come to Denver Mattress and test for yourself. Or get a $300 gift when you purchase any qualifying Tempur-Pedic. And rest easy knowing it's backed by our 365 night better sleep guarantee. Shop Denver Mattress today, your Tempur-Pedic elite retailer. It's replacement window season. Do you have ugly, hard to open, drafty windows? Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows because when you buy two, you get two free. Buy two Champion windows, get, get two, two free? free? I guess that means if you buy four, you get, you get four, four free. free. Buy six, get, get six, six free. free. Buy 10, get, get 10, 10 free. free. Hurry, Champion's buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. Great job, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. Get started on your next Ford SUV. Like an adventure ready Bronco or Bronco Sport. Escape to take on the everyday. Or explore America's all time best selling SUV. Get here to your Ford dealer. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. During Auto Show, choose Flex Buy on Explorer or Bronco Sport with 1.9% APR financing for 66 months plus 2,000 Flex Buy cash. People are switching to Spectrum Internet. We count on Spectrum Internet and the advanced Wi-Fi to always keep us connected and protected. It's so reliable and fast. Ever since we switched to Spectrum Internet, our daughter's curiosity has a new spark. So now we're saving a ton. Amazing. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month with advanced Wi-Fi, free modem, and free security suite for 12 months with no added taxes or fees. Save even more with our new two-year price guarantee when you level up to one gig. Call 1-833-977-4999 or scan to call. Call now. The dues value that we deliver for clubs for the price of one is unheard of. The facilities at the Legend of Bergamot, I mean, it's just incredible. You don't have to pay $30,000 to be able to play a great golf course that's in great condition. The pool tennis fitness complex, you would think if you're at a resort, not at a country club. That's pretty good. Come become a member. If you just want to do it a little bit, come be our guest. Sometimes the do-it-yourself route isn't the best option. Call Monona Plumbing instead and get your plumbing problem fixed right. A name you can trust when service is a must. The first warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. So, Andrew, you were in the house tonight at the today at the Kohl's Center. Yeah. What, what's your takeaway from the game against Purdue? I think that you had two really, really well-coached, high IQ teams that came in there with a game plan, and I think both executed the game plan. I just think it was a phenomenal basketball game that went Purdue's way. Some officiating stuff at the end of the game, but I don't even want to touch that. Right. I just think it was a really, really good basketball game, and I think that down the road, last season of the game this year, Wisconsin at Purdue. I don't think that's one that Purdue's all that excited about. Yeah, I know that the boys will definitely be looking forward <laughs> no to No kidding. All right, Alex, we got some stuff going on in the weather. It's warmer than usual. Yeah, warmer than usual in this time of year. You got melting snow, warm yeah. temperatures. You get the fog. We've had fog pretty much every night for many, many nights. We've been looking at freezing fog potential, especially from Madison and points to the east. So if you are taking that drive out in the morning, if you're heading on I-90, I-94 to the east, could be looking at some of that freezing mm. fog. Then those really, really warm temperatures take hold here. 50s. In fact, we might be looking at 50 degree weather at nighttime on Thursday night going into Friday. That's just how warm wow. it will be. All right. Well, sounds good. Thank you guys and thank you all for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the Grammys and this show. We'll see you back here tomorrow.